Hello and welcome to the Oseki Camera SDK tutorial video series on computer vision. This is the third video in this series and it is about motion recognition. With the motion recognition, it is about tripwire. In the video, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how the tripwire application works. I hope you will like this video. First, let's see what is tripwire used for. Tripwire is a passive triggering mechanism. This, the tripwire function can be an effective help if you wish to obtain the security of your own business or even home. The event will trigger in the case of any changes detected by the tripwire application. For example, if you use belts in your business, you can detect uh, the changes in connection with the items placed on the belts. Also, the tripwire application can be an effective help in people counting. Now let's talk about the Ozaki Camera SDK a bit. This Ozaki Camera SDK has some great advantages. It can be used easily. It is multifunctional since it's an all-purpose tool. Plus, it is an all-with compliant software. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced C-sharp developer, you will be able to implement the solutions shown in this video. There are some necessary tools you will need to get before you start building your application. These are the followings. A Microsoft PC, .NET Framework, Visual Studio, some kind of camera, and the Ozaki Camera SDK. If you have these requirements, you will be able to implement great computer vision solutions. First, we need to download the Ozeki Camera SDK from the www.camera-sdk.com website. On the home page, you click on the download menu. Then you click on the link and fill in the form with your name and email address. Once the download is ready, we install the software. The installation is pretty simple. You just need to click on the next button, then install. The installation will take a couple of minutes though. When the installation is done, you click on the finish button and here we can see the Ozaki Camera SDK software product running on our computer. Now you need to open the Visual Studio after opening the Visual Studio project, you have to add the VoIP SDK.dll to the references. You can do it in the Solution Explorer. Mm, click on the references, right click and add references. Here you can uh, select uh, the VoIP SDK.dll. On the how to implement tripwire in C-sharp web page, we can see where to access the tripwire example. Now, we open our example program in the example folder. First, let's start with the using directives. We have to add some namespaces from the Ozaki SDK to use its components such as web camera or the tripwire. In case of the program, we check the stream of a web camera to see if something passes the given line. In this case, an event is triggered. For this, we need a web camera instance, a tripwire instance and a media connector instance which will be used for connecting the image of the web camera 
to the tripwire and to the user control on the GUI, which will display in the picture. With point one and point two, you can create a straight line. This is where you determine where the line will be. You can also examine here if something passes the line. This is a constructor part. This constructor runs first when you start the program. It sets the necessary variables into default state. It initializes them. This event holder will be triggered when you click on the connect button. First, the event uh, queries the default web camera from the computer. Then the image coming from the camera is forwarded to the tripwire component, which will forward uh, the processed image to an image provider that will display the image to the window uh, to the WinForms GUI. Finally, we start the camera and the user control on the GUI to display the image. This method is the event handler of the start button. After the method has been called, the application will set the properties of the tripwire component and start it with the start method. Here are the properties like the color of the line or the color of the motion highlight. Subscribing to the tripwire motion enter to line event we will be notified when an object enters to the given line. Subscribing to the tripwire motion leave from line event, we will be notified when an object left the given line. This event will be triggered when a motion passes the line. In the case of this event, uh, the motion cannot be sensed any longer on the line. This method will be called when the motion can be sensed on the line. These events are necessary when you determine the line. You can move these lines and when a motion passes the line, the tripwire will notify you. I connect the USB camera to my PC. Then I start the application. I click on the connect to web camera button. Then I click on the start button. And now we can see the red line. When there is motion on the image, it is detected and uh, it is marked by a blue color. And now I stop the application. As you can see, this camera SDK is an all-purpose tool which is easy to use and it is an OnWeb compliant software. If this tutorial video attracted uh, your attention, then go and check out our website at the www.camera-sdk.com. Here you can find many examples and free source codes regarding computer vision technology. Also here you can download the trial version of the software. Plus you can follow our tutorial videos too. If you have any questions, then send us an email to the info at camera-sdkey.com email address. In the next video, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on object detection. I hope you like this video. See you next time.